I'm a hustler man. I'm always get it off the muscle man. Trying to make them hunters bust the rubber bands. Rain, sleet, hell or snow, I'm trying to get it in. Woo! I go door to door. Stacking up them dollars like dominoes. Woo! I go door to door. Hustlers, money makers, world shakers, and paper chasers. Welcome back to another episode of Roof Hustlers, baby. We will tackle all your daily dough to dough objections, rejections, and we teach you guys how to make connections, baby. Because if you ain't creating genuine customer connections, building better customer relationships, and providing premier customer service, then you know, like I know, guys, you ain't making a difference in your wallet or the community, baby. And that's what we do over here at Roof Hustlers, man. Help you guys go from average to good, from good to great. Always keep your food on your plate, baby. Because if you do what I do, you know it's a jump out here. So this week on Roof Hustlers, what we're going to teach y'all is how being funny can actually make you money. How to add more levity, humor, and comedy into your door-to-door -door sales, man, so you can separate yourself from the competition, start making your homeowners laugh, teach them how to remember you, get them to drop their guards, so you can actually start having the conversations you want so you can make the money that you desire. Right? So, got some beautiful tips for y'all today. Today gonna be a fun episode. So let's get strapped up, let's get ready to go. How being funny can make you more money. So I got my notes with me today because I want to make sure we hit these things on point. I want to make sure y'all get this great information. So first and foremost, let's talk about the difference between the three, right? What is levity? Levity. Levity is finding the humor in life, right? You trip and fall instead of being embarrassed, you find the humor in that situation, right? Somebody die, I know it sounds crazy, but you find the levity in serious, you just find the joy in life, that's levity. Add a little levity, I love that. What is humor? Humor is channeled levity towards a specific goal. So humor is more like your style of humor, your sense of humor. So maybe you like dark humor. Right? Maybe you like your mama jokes, right? Maybe you like just sporadic jokes. Like you got a, a different style of humor. You know your sense of humor, right? Oh, where's your sense of humor? And then you got comedy. What is comedy? It's practice of humor as a structured discipline. So in other words, comedy is like you do improv, you do stand-up skits like, like the Drew Carey show, right? You do stand-up comedy, right? Things like that. I want to talk to you guys today about levity and particularly humor. We ain't going to focus too much on comedy. So those are the three. Now, let's talk about some of the myths of humor because some of y'all are going to be like, man, Deshaun, I, I don't got time to be cracking jokes. But that's exactly why you're not making money. So let's talk about the four myths of humor, right? The first myth is humor has no place in a serious work environment. No time for fun, huh? 98% of companies said they prefer an employee with a sense of humor, right? So if you dry like the clear eyes dry guy, nobody don't like you working for them. Wow. Second thing is 84% of companies said employees with a sense of humor do better work. So if you actually got a sense of humor, you work better. Are you being funny? And they say playful cultures allow for people to thrive when the stakes are high. So when the environment is more fun, people do better work, they're more productive, they get things done. So that's the first myth. Second myth, you got a deep paralyzing, your humor will fail. You too worry about that your jokes won't be funny. And I want to let you know, it's not about whether what you say is funny or not. It's whether do you got the guts to say something funny. And believe it or not, to your customer, it looks like you're more confident. You do seem confident, and confidence is key. So don't worry about if your joke funny or not. Just be the guy that got the confidence to crack the joke. The third myth is, in order to use levity, you have to be funny. That's a lie as well. Believe it or not, it's more about finding the humor in other things, right? Being a person with a good sense of humor is actually more beneficial than being the guy that's trying to be funny. So when other people cracking jokes or situations happen, be the guy that finds the humor in those situations, right? So that's a myth right there. You think that you have to be funny. You don't. You just got to have a good sense of humor. And last but not least, you believe you have to be born funny and it's not something you can learn. That's a lie, right? Understand comedy, levity, humor, all of that is just like any other skill in your life. If you put in time to learn it, you'll be phenomenal at it. 
right? So them the four myths that's stopping you from adding a little bit more humor, a little bit more levity into your sales. First one, you think sales ain't no serious place for comedy or humor. Second one, you got a deep paralyzing fear that your joke won't be funny. The third one is you think you have to be funny in order to use levity. And the fourth one is you think you got to be born funny. Those are all the myths that are stopping you from making your homeowners laugh and make them put cash in your hand. Now let's talk about the behavior benefits of levity and humor. So first and foremost, let's talk about what it do to the brain. When you make people laugh, this is what happens. First thing first, it releases oxytocin, right? What is that? The less stress chemical and the trust chemical. So it allows homeowners to drop their guard, allow them to trust you. Second thing it do is it release dopamine. That's the happy chemical, right? So now you got your homeowner feeling happy. And the last thing it does is it releases endorphins, which is the euphoric feeling. So anytime you get your homeowners to laugh, you release these three chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, and endorphins. And the only other thing you can do that releases those three chemicals at the same time is have sex. So understand, you can't have sex with your homeowners, so you gotta make them laugh. You're not wrong. That's why you gotta add some humor. It does that to the brain. Now let's talk about some other beneficial behaviors that levity and humor causes for people. First thing it does is it helps you build bonds quicker, right? So it makes the path to trust and self-disclosure happen sooner. So if you can make people laugh, they drop their guards and they're a little bit more vulnerable, they share more information with you, they feel like they trust you and they know you better, all from making somebody laugh. That's why when you go on a date with a girl, if you can make her laugh, she likes you 10 times better. It creates a closer bond. The second thing it does is it helps you stand out and increase long-term retention. So understand this, when you knock on a door and you meet a homeowner and you're the one that makes them laugh, they don't forget you. It's hard for them to forget you. Also, it makes your content more engaging and it allows them to remember it better. So look, they did a study. They had one group look at a short comedy skit before they took a memory test and they had another group watch a regular show, then take the test. The group that watched the comedy show then took the memory test remember two times more information than the other group. Just by putting themselves in a good state of mind, laughing and enjoy it, they was able to retain information better. So understand, when you're that sales rep that's a little bit more quirky, got a little bit more comedy, a little bit more levity, homeowners remember you better and they retain the things that you say to them 10 times better, right? So that's another reason why you gotta add some levity. People won't forget you. And last but not least, when you add a little bit of levity and humor, it creates higher resilience, right? In other words, it reduces the stress in the moment, allowing you to bounce back faster, a better mental agility. So I was working with a sales rep, having a crappy day, right? He wanted to go home early, like everybody do. He knocked on the door, homeowner come outside, he said, blah, 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 Josh. Homeowner was like, what is that? Blah, 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 my name Josh. Homeowner's like, what? He mumbled to him one more time. He's like, nah, I'm just playing. My name's Josh, I'm with so-and-so. The homeowner bust out laughing and said, man, I ain't know what you were saying. That was the only inspection they got all day. Why? Because they found the humor and the levity in a crappy day and it allowed them to continue to be a little bit more resilient. So understand, when you out there, find the levity in crappy days, crappy moments. You got angry homeowners, instead of taking it personal, laugh it off. Find the jokes in it and it allows you to continue to keep pushing through the day at a very high level. So I got a bunch of more tips, but hey, if you want to learn more about that, you need to come join the Best Hustle Academy, right? That's my shameless plug. This episode of Roof Hustles is brought to you by the Best Hustler Academy. Listen, guys, I know you're tired of the free stuff and you wonder what all the meat and potatoes, what all the good stuff they hide from us. It's over here in the Best Hustler Academy. Come learn how you can take your sales game to that next level. Not only sales, but your marketing game. Because I know you want to ask how you take your marketing to that next level. The Best Hustler Academy is the place to be, right? Get exclusive content, one-on-one -on -one time, and exclusive coaching to take your game to that next level. Back to regular schedule program. So you need to come over there so we can teach you the more in-depth version of this stuff. And last but not least, I got the way to apply this information. I got three principles, baby. Three. Uno, dos, tres. Three principles on how you can actually apply, implement comedy and humor into your pitch and your sales, right? First principle, at the heart of all humor is truth. 
right? So in other words, when you're cracking your jokes, you don't got to try to be funny. You ain't Kevin Hart. You ain't Jerry Seinfeld. You ain't Dave Chappelle. You don't got to try to be funny. Just find the truth in everything. Because nine times out of 10, the reason why we laugh at comedians is the truth in the stories that they tell us. Just tell people the truth one time. So when I knock on the door, that's why I love to say, hey, how you doing? They say, I'm good. How you doing? I say, before I say anything, thank you for asking how I'm doing. Most people ask what I want. Every homeowner thinking, what do you want when we show up to the house? Since there's so much truth in that, they laugh every time I say that. So that's the first principle. At the heart of all humor, there's some truth, right? The second principle, all humor contains surprise and misdirection, right? Understand, humor comes from what we expect versus what actually happens. So you gotta add some surprise, some misdirection. Surprise! So another one I like to do during summertime, I knock on the door, they'll come outside, and I say, hey, how you doing? They say, I'm good, and I say, I'm just out here getting a tan I don't really need, and it throw everybody off, because they looking at me like, do black people actually tan? We kinda tan, I don't know what you wanna call it, tanning, getting darker, whatever. But you gotta have the misdirection when you selling, right? So you can have two truths, and one lie that throw people off, right? That's why I have some people go to the door, speak Spanish, and then go to English. Why? It's a misdirection. So that's the second principle. All humor contains surprise and misdirection. Throw your home on off. And the third principle is you gotta be spontaneously funny. You gotta be unpredictable, baby. So in other words, listen, know your signature stories. Know your stories that land every single time. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. And don't get tired of them. Know how to spontaneously throw that story out there to shake up the mood, get your homeowner to laugh. Boom. It's effective, right? So know your stories that work. Notice the humor in the here and now. So when you're talking to a homeowner and something's funny in the moment, call it out. One time I knocked on the door, a lady came outside, she had on pajamas. I said, sheesh, you must be living the life. It's 3 p.m. and you still in pajamas. I wish my life was that peaceful. And she's like, actually, I'm getting dressed and get ready to go to some type of social event. And I was like, you need a plus one? I'm like, I already got on a bow tie, I'm halfway ready. And she started cracking up, right? That's spontaneously funny. And then the third one is use callbacks. What do I mean by a callback? So let's say if you knock a door and a homeowner say, well, my, my uncle nephew's son actually fixed roofs. You keep pitching and then you just keep calling back that little moment. You'll just be like, well, I know your uncle nephew's son cousin do roofs, but um, we in the neighborhood today. And let's say they decide like, nah, we good. You say, hey, well, listen, if your uncle nephew cousin's son don't end up calling you back in a certain time and manner, I would love to come help you, right? It's callbacks. It's funny moments that you can bring back into the sales opportunity anytime you're in that conversation. So the third principle is spontaneously funny. Just catch people off guard, be unpredictable, because the things about a joke that makes them funny is the unpredictability of it, right? When you, when you know the punchline, the joke ain't that funny. When you don't know where it's going, it catch you off guard. So those are three principles. The first one is, it's always truth and all humor. The second one is, all humor contains surprise and mixed direction. And the third one is, be spontaneously funny. So listen, man, I know you over there like, man, Deshaun, I, I ain't know I can be that funny. Hey, the more funny you are, the more money you make. And some of you guys are funny in your regular life, but when it's time to sell, you are stick in the mud. So listen, stop being so serious. Like the Joker said, why so serious? Why so serious? That's what's stopping you from closing more deals and making more money. Start being Funny. If you enjoyed today's Roof Hustlers episode, leave us some funny comments or some funny icebreakers down in the comment section. That way other people can hear about the jokes and stuff that you're saying, right? Make sure if there's some topics you want us to cover on Roof Hustlers, shoot us an email, Deshaun at RoofHustlers.com. Follow us over on Instagram, right? Where we get your mind, right? Follow us on Facebook, Deshaun Bryant. And listen, man, if you're tired of making no money, it's because you ain't funny. And as always, baby, hustle hard, hustle smart. And don't be afraid to bolt guard. Hustlers, I'm out.